Okay, what's up, guys? Now, you know how I am with the, if you don't like it, don't go down that path of where it's going to be at. Because, really, it's just going to be a negative outcome. It's going to be bad at the end for both me or whoever and the other person. It's just going to be a bad situation, okay? Because, like I said before, negatives and po positives, they don't mix, all right? So, the reason why I made, or I titled this video, Take a Seat, Poodle Corp, is because, uh, you know, Poodle Corp is this hacking group, and for some time now, they've been hacking, like, a lot of, uh, video games and stuff, and it's mainly, like, the ones that you see a lot of people, like, stream on Twitch and things, and, uh, yeah, for some reason, they just had, like, they just start randomly hacking these, uh, these uh, just yeah video games and stuff but anyways from what i've heard from what uh scares and scares he's a like an, a news channel on here he was uh saying i guess they were like it was two hackers or it was two hacking groups they formed together and decided to just be one big one what i failed to understand like what I'm, like what i'm failing to understand right now is that why why go through all of this why hack video games? Why ruin it for others? Like, I don't understand. It's just, there's really, in my eyes, there's no point for all of this. There's no point. All I'm really seeing right now is people, you know, having a video game pretty much ruined. And they've done absolutely, like, they, they can't even do anything. Like, this is like a game that I don't know like cuz I don't know if like those streamers like cuz I'm yeah I'm pretty sure they get paid to play those games and stuff and it's like they're pretty much losing out on money because you guys want to see how long you can have this game servers down and it's like why what's the whole reason for all of that that's why I never really seen a reason for hacking unless you're doing hacking like for good like for an example that uh, anonymous guy, he had, uh, or it was, I guess, a group, because I don't know, like, them hacking, I don't know if it's just one guy or, you know, a whole group, but um, anonymous, they had uh, threatened the Ku Klux Klan and said that if you do anything to those uh, protesters in the Ferguson when that whole um, Michael Brown thing had happened, he was like, if you do anything to those pro um, protesters, we're leaking out your names, your emails, and address, and numbers, and it's like, dang. It's like, you guys got it like that? That's pretty dope. And then it's like, you hear stories like, oh, Xbox Live's off, um, offline, or PlayStation is uh, offline, or Steam offline. And it's like, why? What, what's the whole reason? Because I'll never forget when uh, PlayStation 3 had got hacked. And it took, like, pretty much, it took PlayStation to uh, recover from that. And I was like, I'm at the time because I just got my Xbox 360, so I was kind of happy that I didn't have to deal with it because I think that you couldn't even play video games, like you couldn't even like sign in to your PlayStation because these guys decided to hack PlayStation and see how long they can keep it down. And it's like, I never really seen a reason for that. I don't understand why you guys go through all of that trouble to do something bad and have a negative outcome just to satisfy you guys and it's like like i said if you're going to do hacking do it for good but to just do it and it's like there's no reason behind it like you're just causing causing problems for others having them lose money they can't even do a live stream they can't even make a video they can't do anything because i guess it was a uh, blizzard the people behind overwatch and stuff they uh they took um they they took their servers and stuff online so people couldn't even play like any blizzard games i guess and it's like i don't understand like that's what i keep failing to understand what is so bad like and i feel like these might be guys that just have a hatred for video games or because it's like honestly it's like when do you ever hear a gaming company unless they have made a bad video game or something and it's like, these guys go after successful games and stuff. Because I guess in uh, Today and Scarce, because that's, that's why I'm making this video. Because uh, Scarce was today just reporting how um, Poodle Corp had uh, hacked um, League of Legends or something. And I, I don't know, like, I'm not a fan of those games. But 
if I was a hacker, I'm not going to be hacking that game to ruin other people's nights. Like they have plans on playing this game either with their friends or doing the live stream. Like let's say like a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, they just hit like a million subscribers or somewhere. They just hit like a certain goal on their uh, profile or channel and they're trying to celebrate but they can't celebrate playing their favorite game because it's offline because these hackers they want to see how long they can keep it offline and it's like there's honestly my my opinion you know i say my conclusion i'm probably just gonna end the video after this but i see no point of uh hacking you know like i said unless you're doing it for good but other than that like you hack a person's uh phone just to see their photos or uh, phone numbers or text messages that's dumb because I ain't heard stories where people then put like um actually yeah that's why I heard it from it was from um that uh, TV show uh, True Life and it was like them people just reporting on their lives and stuff just for those that haven't seen the show but anyways um the one guy he put like in a like an app on his uh girlfriend's phone and thinking that she was like texting other dudes and stuff and then she was trying to figure out what was this random app and i guess her friend i was like i don't know how her friend knows her friend probably used to save that but um uh, no it was uh he was like pretty much like monitoring her uh text messages and things i'm like that's creepy okay there ain't no point of that there ain't no point of taking video game servers offline because it's like really you guys didn't build the game you guys didn't buy the. it's like you guys this isn't you know your choice this isn't something that you should be doing because first off it is against the law and these guys could press charges against you all right if they find out who you are because it's like that's that's what honestly happens to these guys i remember when uh all right so actually i'll talk about this and then this will be the uh La this would be the end of the video but um i remember it was a couple of years ago i think because i remember i made videos on it and uh lizard squad they had um hacked xbox took xbox offline so uh yeah it was a lot of people they couldn't play uh like any game online like it was at one uh, yeah because i think uh gta was uh out at the time yeah gta yeah because it was a couple of years ago and gta 5 didn't come out until 2013 but um yeah i remember it was uh like 2014 and yeah because it was around the time when it was like all those celebrities they got like their like nude photos leaked off their iCloud thing and it was like i think not too long after that uh lizard squad had hacked xbox so yeah 2014 was a crazy year <laughs> but uh yeah they had a uh, hacked xbox live took it offline i couldn't play gta 5 for a little bit and then uh, there was a lot of other people, they couldn't even play video games. And it's like, why are you guys doing that? But no, they, pretty much their story, because it's like you, I mean, you might see like little Twitter accounts, I guess, trying to be them or something. But um, yeah, you don't hear anything of Lizard Squad, because I think all those dudes, they all got their uh, information all leaked out, because I guess there was some like um, other hackers, they found out who they were, and they built this website and just pretty much they had uh yeah just leaked out all of their information even with minnesota boys somebody did that with them leaked out his uh real name and everything and i'm like yeah these uh well i mean minnesota boy isn't a hacker but still it's like there's always going to be like those good hackers out there and i highly recommend if you are like a good hacker don't do it for bad don't ruin other people's nights days you know their video games any of that crap just to you know make yourself happy because at the end of the day it's not really proven anything when you think about it, it's not so it's just yeah i see no reason for it but anyways um thank you guys for watching poodle corp you guys need to seriously go sit down somewhere because it's like really i like i don't i play overwatch i don't play league of legends but it's like if i were to play that game i think i would be yeah highly upset that i can't play because you guys want to show how much of a good hacker you are and it's like like i said for what third or fourth time you're going to do hacking do it for good but that being said chances are these guys ain't going to listen because they just want to hack the whole world and crap but anyways yeah i'll talk to you guys later thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you are new please like and subscribe and peace